everyone. Uh, welcome back. Uh, I just uh, created a video about how to create your digital signature. Uh, this video will go over how to actually sign a document um, using Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. Now in this video there is an option <coughs> to uh, create that digital signature in one of these steps. Um, but I will not actually be going over the actual setting up of the digital signature. Uh, you can watch the other video on, on where to go to that. So you have your document here. Um, some, some companies, some people might actually put in a little form here for you to click and sign. Uh, however, some documents just require your signature, your approval. Um, there are multiple ways depending on how your processes are set up. What I'm going to be doing is actually placing a signature and then a certificate using your digital signature that was set up uh, to actually lock the document so it can't be changed. First thing uh, I would like to do is actually put in my actual physical signature and with the document open you're going to see under here on the right hand side fill and sign. It's going to open up the forms here. Um, you can put a check mark, an X, you can you know do some comments here if you'd like. However, I'm just going to go ahead and put my signature there. I'm going to go ahead and add. You can actually create a new one right here, whatever your looks, whatever it looks like. And I'll just go ahead and find a spot and put it right there. You can make it bigger or smaller um, by clicking and dragging. So now that I have that signed, um, I am going to go back and I'm going to click on that and go to certificates certificates uh, has opened up here. You'll see under here um, I actually went to more tools and then selected certificates. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to digitally sign. Uh, you can actually timestamp. The digitally sign actually does timestamp it for you uh, if you actually uh, your appearance selects the timestamp. So I'm going to do is I'm going to select the digitally sign and it kind of creates this little uh, cross where you can click and drag the area you want to sign. I'm just going to go right here above my signature name. This box is going to pop up. In the previous video I actually created this John Smith signature. I have my own professional digital signature already set up. Uh, but as I mentioned you can configure a new digital ID right here by clicking on this button. Watch the other video on how to actually set up the digital signature. Um, but you can click this and, and open it up and create another digital signature here. I'm going to go ahead and select my name and continue. So this is the appearance of what it looks like. You'll see the date and time stamp right there. There's my name. Uh, you can actually add um, uh, seals, um, actual wet signatures. Um, you can change the appearance of the signature. I'm going to use the standard text, but you would just uh, create another appearance right here for however you want it to, or need it to look. Some people like to put their actual stamp and seal if they're an engineer or um, you know whatever the case may be. Now I'm going to lock this document after signing. What this does is it prevents people from actually editing the file. And if they attempt to, the uh, file will show up and it will notify you that this has been tampered with. Um, so got everything here. Uh, you're just going to enter in the password that you set up with the signature. Enter that there. Go ahead and click sign. It's going to ask me what I want to name the file as. I'm just going to save this to my uh, desktop here. Hit save, sign. It's going to show up. There's my digital signature. There's my actual signature. And um, uh, it'll be, it's ready to send off. So you can go ahead and email that uh, file. And uh, this document is locked and has your approval. Thanks for watching.